Okay, we're going to walk through uh, systems of inequalities today. And you'll notice with today's assignment, the lines are already graphed for you. And you'll notice that each, each uh, when we graph these lines, each system is going to give us four regions. One of these four regions is going to provide solutions that work for both of these inequalities. So we're going to work on how to find that and how to identify our solution. So we're going to start out with number one. Now for number one, our first system is y is greater than 2x minus 1. So first of all, I'm going to find that line. y-intercept of negative 1 is right here. Go up 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. We've got our line. This is the line we're going to deal with first. So I'm going to highlight this using, let's see, orange. I'm just going to start with this line. I'm just going to identify the line first. So tell me y is greater. So what does that mean? It means all the y values greater here. This area is going to give me solutions for this. So I'm going to color everything above the line, just like so. And again, you'll notice I'm doing it in yellow. You can use any colors you want for this, really. But you'll see why using these colors will be helpful. I'm going to get rid of this initial line because we want to make sure we're not coloring anything on the other side. All right, it's pretty close. How can I make sure they colored in the right area? Try a test point. You'll notice that the origin is colored in, 0, 0. If we plug in this point into this inequality, that means we should get a solution. We're going to see what happens. y is greater than 2x minus 1. Let's plug in 0 for y, 0 for x, and see what happens. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. That is a true statement. And guess what? It's shaded in. That means I did something right here. So I'm going to keep that shaded in. I'm in pretty good shape. Now for my second one here, I've got y is less than or equal to 1 half x minus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that y-intercept of negative 4, which is right here. And just double check that it's working. Up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Good. I've got the right line. I'm going to shade this one in blue this time. All right, so now I'm looking at y is less than. So I'm going to look at this line. I'm going to shade in all the y's that are less, which are right down here. So that means I'm going to be shading in everything in this area right beneath the line. So that's all shaded in. And you can always try a test point, see if it works. Like if you really want to, here's what I'll do. I'm going to plug in negative 6, 0, and see if it works for my uh, inequality here. So I've got y is less than 1 half x minus 4. And I decide I'm going to go with 0, negative 6. I'm going to plug in that point, see if it works. So I'm going to go with negative 6 for my y and 0 for my x. Let's see what happens. 1 half minus, times 0 gives me 0 minus 4, negative 4. Is negative 6 less than or equal to negative 4? certainly is. So that means I colored in the right region. It's always good to check here. Now, hopefully what you're noticing is I've got an area that got colored in twice. That is my solution for this system. That means this area that I colored in twice right here, and I'll even color it in. Let's see, I'll use green right here. This is your solution set. That would be the solution to this problem. That is the area that gets colored in twice. And that is one of the four regions we were talking about. You create four regions when you do this. And this is the one of the four regions that has solutions for both of these. How can I check? Again, try a test point. I'm going to go with negative 6, negative 8. You'll notice that it's in this region. Negative 6, negative 8. If I plug it into both of these, I should get a solution that works for both. So let's see if it works. So we've got y is greater than 2x minus 1. Let's plug in negative 8 for y, negative 6 for x. Get negative 8. 2 times negative 6 gives me negative 13. I mean negative 12. Negative 12 minus 1 gives me negative 13. Negative 8 is greater than negative 13, so that works for this first inequality. Let's see if this point works for the second one. Again, we're going to plug in negative 8 for our y. We're going to plug in negative 6 for our x. Let's see, I'm going to need a little more space here. And we're going to see if this works. 
This is how you can tell if you did it right. Negative 8 is less than or equal to 1 half times negative 6 gives me negative 3. Negative 3 minus 4 gives me negative 7. Negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 7, so it works. So that's how I can tell which, which region works. I should be able to find the solution in that region that makes both of these inequalities true statements. So that's how you go about doing these. I'm going to walk you through one more of these. And I picked this one in particular because I noticed we want to fix an error that's in there. We're going to be doing number 6. Now if you look at number 6 here, I'm going to change this. Instead of 1, negative 1 half x minus 5, I'm going to change it to plus 5. Here's the reason. When you look for that line here, you're not going to find negative 1 half x minus 5, but you can find negative 1 half x plus 5. That's right here. Plus 5 is your y-intercept. Down 1 over 2 gives you this line. So that's why we're going to change that. So make sure you change that, or else you're going to have trouble with this one. For number 6, let's take a look. We'll start with this one. Our y-intercept is negative 16. You'll notice that's not on the page here. If it was on the page, we can get an idea of where it might be. It's going to be way down here somewhere. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. And in this case, we're looking at y is less. So if I were to draw a line here, as you can see, going on that long, it means all my y's are going to be down here that would work for this. So I'm going to color everything on that side of the line. Now here's one thing that should jump out at me when I'm doing this. I have not colored in this region or this region, which means that's not going to be part of my solution. So immediately, I've got it narrowed down that I know that those two regions will not be possible answers for this. I'm just going to try and tidy this up a little bit. You can see it gets a little messy. All right. So now i got to do the next one here, where y is less than negative 1 half x plus 5. So I know where that line is. I'm going to go this one in red. line's about right here-ish. I'm looking at less than. So I'm looking at all the y's below, which is down here. So I'm going to color everything in this area right here. So you'll notice that I had one area that was colored in twice. Almost looks purplish. That's why I try to use co uh, primary colors. I'm going to erase just about everything except for that region. I colored in twice. Whoop. Let's undo that. Just so I can point it out again. That region that's colored in twice is right here. Pretty clear, right? I'm going to color that in again right here. This was colored in twice. That's going to be my solution. The area that gets colored in twice. Whatever isn't colored in twice, no longer solution. So I'm getting rid of that red. Getting rid of this. Boom. You notice I have this region here, which was colored in twice. That means all the sol all the points in here will work as solutions for both of these problems. Let's see. I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to go with this point here. Oh, notice I'm drawing an order. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's okay. Color it again. When possible, always try and check with a point. That way you can tell if you're right or wrong. It's always a good check. This point here would be negative 6, 0. Negative 6 is my x value. 0 is my y value. So it should work for both of these. Let's see, negative, let's see. We're going to go with 0 for y. And then negative 6 for x. Let's see if this works. Negative 4 times negative 6 gives me positive 24. Minus 16 gives me 8. Is 8 greater than or equal to 0? It certainly is. Remember, I did that for this equation, or that inequality. For the next inequality, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to plug in 0 for y, and then I'm going to plug in negative 6 for x. Negative 1 half times negative 6 gives me positive 3. Positive 3 plus 5 gives me 8. Positive 8. Positive 8 is greater than 0. Guess what? It works. So that means anything in this region here is going to work for both of these inequalities. And that's what you're trying to prove here when you're solving a system of linear inequalities. Now, use this video to help you out, help you work through the rest of the problems, but hopefully this helps.